Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I am going to be doing a tutorial for this makeup look I'm wearing right now. It is great for anyone with brown or darker colored eyes. Of course you can wear it for any colored eyes but I love it on my dark brown eyes and it's just my favorite go-to look for anyone with brown eyes. So if you want to find out how to recreate this look then just keep on watching. First off I'm just going to pin my bangs back and tie my hair back. So I'm going to start by using the Art Deco eyeshadow base, so I'm going to prime my eyelids here with that, just going into the pot with my finger and dabbing it right on. So for this eyeshadow look, I'm going to be using the new Tarte Tartlet in Bloom eyeshadow palette and I'm just going to be using these colors here. Smarty Pants, Firecracker, and Activist. So I'm going to start off with Smarty Pants here as my transition color. I am going to use this big fluffy brush from Illuminate Cosmetics by Ashley Tisdale. It's the number 5 brush. Tap off and go right in there. I'm going to go up into the crease with this. This eyeshadow smells amazing. It smells like mint chocolate chips. I love these eyeshadows. They're nice and pigmented and they blend really nicely. I am just going to use my typical MAC 217 just to blend. And if I keep looking down it's because I'm using the mirror in this palette. Next I am going to take the brush here, and this is Illuminate again, the number 6 brush, and just take the color Firecracker, and this is going to go all over my lid, I'm just going to press it on, but it's not going to go higher than the crease. I find if you press in this shimmer powder you get more of a color payoff than if you were to just swipe it on. Now I am going to take the color Activist here which is the dark brown and just with this pointed pencil brush from Illuminate as well and just very, very specifically into the crease, just to darken it up. I'm just going to take some of the Smarty Pants color here and just put that into the crease, kind of to blend the dark and the transition color together a bit better. And then just blend this all around the edges. I'm just going to touch up the shimmer color again, that's the firecracker color. So now I just want to darken up the lash line a little bit, so I am going to take this pencil brush with the dark activist color again right here, and just right as close as I can to the lash line, just kind of blend that in a little bit.
Now this is in place of a eyeliner, a black or dark brown liquid eyeliner or gel eyeliner. I'm just going to stick with the shadow, but I mean if you want to add a black eyeliner to this look, you absolutely can. Just to clean up underneath. Any fallout that may have occurred. Now to move on to my face, I am going to start with my Mary Kay primer, and this has the 15 SPF in it. And for my foundation, I am going to be using the Revlon Photo Ready Airbrush Effect Makeup, and this is in the color or number three shell so this is a darker color for my complexion um, but I typically love wearing this eyeshadow makeup when it is summertime when I have a darker tan it just looks much better and it pops so I am just going to put this onto my finger and dot it onto my face like so I'm also just gonna put some on here cuz it's quicker on my Real Techniques buffing brush and buff it in. I'm just gonna blend it down my neck a little bit just because it is darker than my current skin tone so I want it to blend in. Oh, my arm's getting sore from blending this in. Next up for concealer, I am going to be using my favorite, which is the Revlon Color Stay in number one fair. So I'm just gonna be using the pointed end of my my makeup sponge just to blend this all in. Now to set all of my concealer, I am going to be using an old favorite of mine, which is just the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. This is a translucent setting powder with the number one Illuminate brush, which is just a big fluffy brush. Just swirl it around in the pan and just generously pat it on. Alright, next up I am going to start my contouring and I am going to be using another old favorite of mine and that's MAC Harmony. This is actually a blush but the color is perfect for contouring. It's not too too warm, it's a bit more on the warm side than it is on the cool tone side but for a summertime look or a more warmed bronzier look I like using this one here. So I'm just using the number 4 brush from Illuminate. around my forehead, into the hairline, because I really want that sun-kissed glow. And I'm just going to bring that along the jawline a little bit. I'm just going to take my damp sponge and just kind of blend the edges a bit. I'm going to be using Party by Tarte, and this is one of their Amazonian Clay 12-hour blushes. I got this as my birthday gift from Sephora, and I haven't used it yet, but I really want to try it out. So I'm going to use this one here. This is the number two from Illuminate. Ooh, oh my gosh. Just dab it in the pot and just lightly brush it on. Because with this, it's a bit more of a stronger eyeshadow look, so I just want a light blush. Okay, so for my highlight, I'm going to be going into the Tanya Burr Cosmetics Rosy Flush Palette. 
And this I have shown you guys before. It comes with the bronzer color or contour color, the blush, and then this highlight. So I'm going to be using Oyster Shell, the highlight color, just on the tops of my cheekbones here. Oh, with this contour brush from Real Techniques. Because I didn't want a high shimmer highlight. I just wanted something subtle. Down the nose, along the brow bone. Next up I'm going to do my brows and I'm just going to be using this Ardell Brow Pomade in medium brown with the little applicator dual ended brush that it came with. Is brows finished and I love this Ardell brow pomade this is probably one of my favorite ways to do my eyebrows I don't want to do anything too bold and crazy with the lips so I'm just gonna stick with this Tarte lip paint that I got also for my birthday from Sephora I wanted to give this a go um, and this is in the color birthday suit and this too smells like mint chocolate chips and it's just delicious <laughs> To smell, not to eat, obviously. I'm gonna take firecracker here again and just lightly put that underneath. I am just going to be lining my my lash line underneath, so tight lining it with the Avon Glimmer Sticks in Blackest Black. And then along the bottom lash line as well. finish off the eyes is mascara and I'm just going to curl them quickly with my Revlon eyelash curlers. For mascara I'm going to be using the Rimmel London Scandalize Reloaded mascara. This is one of my favorite mascaras for drugstore because it has the nice fluffy brush like that. top and bottom. Alright guys, I think that is pretty much it. And just the last step here, I'm going to be using my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray just to set this all in place. And there we go guys, this is the finished look. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial for a really great eyeshadow look for brown eyes. You can do this on any color eyes, obviously. This is just my favorite for brown or darker eyes. So if you guys decide to recreate this look, make sure to tag me in all of your photos on Instagram or Facebook or wherever you put it up. Um, all my information will be listed below in the description box so you can follow me everywhere. And thanks for watching guys, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already for weekly videos every Wednesday. Alright guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week, okay? Bye.